while having meaning, purpose, value, and spirituality. I'm talking about issues that matter. So join us here at Youth Matters, where we will bring you from this to this. Let us save the youth, one young life at a time. Because you matter, young lives matter. Twenty twenty was a year that changed the world. No mass gatherings, no face-to-face -face schooling, and even no holding of events. We were not able to visit our families or travel. Social distancing, wearing a mask, and virtual classes became the new norm. Many lives have changed, but now is the time to ask yourself, are you physically and spiritually healthy? Tons of things happen in our lives every day. In just a matter of 24 hours, we ask ourselves so many questions. What am I going to wear? What am I going to eat? What am I going to be? So many questions, but still even bigger questions remain. Why am I here? Where am I going? Where did I come from? Here on Youth Matters, we want to create a space where all of these questions are answered. So stay with us as we give you an official look of our first episode of Youth Matters. Join us as we take a look at how this program has metamorphosized through the years to what it has become today. What amazing change the show has gone through the years. This goes to show that things are evolving and changing for the best. Despite the many challenges we are facing right now, we remain resilient for we are survivors, we are overcomers and change makers, making a change for the better. Every young life is important because young lives matter. Exactly. And next up, we'll be sharing to you uplifting stories of triumph of how these young people overcame impossible odds with the help of kind individuals while fighting for survival. Check this out. Even before this pandemic shook the globe, people think the world is all about survival. We dream to survive. We study to survive. We work to survive. And just like these siblings, they survive by singing. Himo na na mga panginabuhihan ang uh, pagkanta. Uh, Muna tayo yung um, bali, murag, mga tayo gina... Himo na mo para makapalit mag mga pagkaon sa matagadlaw, mga pang uh, bayad sa eskulahan, o uh, pangpalit na mo mga gamit. Handun sa... na ano po na mo, natry po na mo sa unang uh, karang walay mga... walay mga... wala mo kayo, dili mag daily ang mga, ka mga amateur singing contest. So, ang mong gitry po nga magharana sa mga... Uh, Balain kay sa gawas o sabi sa nasaman nga mga ang maaduan para mo po yung mahim po na mong way para makapalit po ng mga ang mga panginhanglan sa mga ganyan. Usahay, bigyan mo lang yan. Usahay, mabati na mo ang uh, mabati na mo ang kalisod sa mong kinabuhi. Usahay, masulod sa mong mga unahuna ba nga inaani na lang ba per, may perminti 
inani na lang ba maniguang ming inani ang kinabuhi nga grabe ka lisod magsige ka guna huna kung unsa na pud imong unsa na pud imong buhaton their families are the poorest of the poor and at their young age they work join competitions and sing in the public just to survive panbisan pa sa mga kalisod nung nagian research mo nga nakalimutan ang magampo sa Ginoo But these siblings did not lose hope until one day their prayers were answered in the most unexpected way. Ang kung sa nai naka invite ko na listado sa mga sa kapitbahay sa Kibers Club International sa kayo ko na kaparehara mo. Ang kung sa nai mo bin active sa mga Kibers activities ala. Ang tod na ilang invite nga mo ako yung mo join sa same contest sa uh, keepers sa International Youth Congress o gam uh, nalipay po may kay pag apel po na mo nga um, nagkakulong mga na ilan na mga lalain ng mga youth mga tagalain nasod mga um, uh, lalain ng rasa so bisan pag uh, pull ba ni apel niya po o dito naman na, na ilan si pastor ako lo si kibuloy na ng Bisa na dia ay ubili niya ka pamilya, dili niya member sa yang simbahan, og dili mga dili mga kaila, willing gyud siya motabang sa mga tawo nga nangailangan. Labi na sa mga yang people na paras namo na na nanginabuhi sa kalisod nga si Pastor Apolo si Kibuloy, yang kasing-kasing, willing gyud motabang sa tanan nga nangailangan sa mga tawo sa tibuok kalibutan. Hatag ni Pastor sa mga tanan Uh, sa hanglan um, sa mga pasilina, sa mga anong balay, di paskwela mo niya, di minaan o pagpapaon, di minaan o pagpapaon sa mga anong para uma, para niya. Huwag uh, ako ang pagpasalaman kay uh, pastor tungkol sa yung pagtugtog ka na, isang mga tibig niya, uh, kaila. Uh, kung nga mong una-una, on layo agad ka ayaw nga mong kinabuhi sa una, mong kumpara sa karon kay uh, dako yung kay nga milagro. Kanang wala ni magiyo na huna ng mutabang sa imo mo pa igigamit sa Ginoo na para tabangan ka sa tanan ng mga pagpuinahanglan o watoy mo lailain mo ato si Pastor Apollo si Kibuloy. These siblings prove that when you face the greatest COVID-19 of your life, trying to survive, full of struggles, feeling like all hope is gone, and you realize that life's not always fair, Try to pause and look up. Be still and know that help comes from above.
Yes, you are always there. Cause your grace is like no other, and your love is higher than the mountain that I climb. You made my life complete and saved me. Though I'm not worthy. For the new life you gave. A new Yes, what an amazing story of triumph. Truly, miracles do happen. Just like all of us there, there is a purpose for everything and anything that happens in our lives. Definitely, what an awesome story. I can totally relate because I also had difficult times during my childhood. But on a different note, we have some of our YM squad who is ready to take us on an adventure of food and travel. Two of my favorite things, so let's watch this. I'm Carlo from YM Squad Philippines. We are here in Amazing Cebu and we are exploring the wonderful world of fruits. Here in the Philippines, there are a lot of amazing and interesting fruits that you cannot find in other parts of the world. So follow me as I give you a fruit tour of the Queen City of the South, Cebu City, Philippines. One of the most interesting fruits here in the Philippines is what we call the Chico. It's known for its many health benefits that a fresh Chico fruit can be a great source of healthful nutrients. Apart from being a powerhouse of antioxidants, Chico is rich in iron, copper, calcium, magnesium, potassium, and phosphorus. Studies claim that the tropical fruit is dense with vitamin A and C and has some micronutrients of the B vitamin complex. In addition, eating the fruit can give you a fiber fill as well. Our next exotic fruit is the Philippine mango or also called as the Cebu mango. Besides being extremely tasty and sweetie, it helps fight cancer cells too. The Philippine mango is widely known as the Cebu super mango 
and is the country's top export variety and is one of the best in the world. And our last fruit is the jackfruit. Although this is found wild in Asia, some of the biggest ones have grown even bigger than a small child. Wow! It may look a bit unappealing, but its sweet and stringy texture is both sweet and rich in fiber. So there you have it from Cebu, Philippines, Go YM Squad! Yay! Hi, my name is David. Hi, my name is Andre. Hi, my name is Fred. And we are from the Youth Matter Brazil. And we're here in Brazil to share to you some interesting things here in Brazil and also some tropical fruit. Hello guys, we have just arrived on the market and as you can see, we already cut the passion fruit and we did already juice out of the passion fruit. Yes guys, and we made a research about this fruit and it's a very good one. You know why? Because it's rich in antioxidants and also can help to boost your immune system together with vitamin A and vitamin C. Really? I didn't know about yeah. it. You better know and you better drink it. See, si, então vamos tomar suco de maracujá. Wow! Oh, que delícia! Então, vamos tomar o suco de maracujá. Bye, guys! Bye! E aí pessoal, tudo bem com vocês? Eu sou o Mike from the Youth Matters Brazil. E hoje aqui em São Paulo, nós temos muitos produtos interessantes de frutos tropicais para escolher. Então, vamos ver eles. So first, we have here the acai. So for our toppings, we have kiwi, banana, strawberry, powdered milk, granola, and condensed milk. And now we're going to prepare our toppings. Now we're done with our acai, so it's time to eat. Apa kabar YM Squad? I'm Jessica Lynn Henry from Kuala Lumpur YM Squad Malaysia. Together with me is Anji and we are here in Batali Street Market. And we will taste the tastiest and most exotic fruits here in Malaysia. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. Let's go. First, we have the exotic durian. It's called the king of fruits. Many love its creamy and rich texture. Many say it smells like hell, but tastes like heaven. Wow! Come on, let's try it. This is how it looks like. Now that's how the durian tastes like. What's next, Anji? Next! is snack fruit or they call it salad salad fruits so if you want to see how it will look like it's so hard you need to peel it before you eat it so i will open it first a few moments later it's a bit hard they said you need to sacrifice first before you eat This 
sweet a bit, sour a bit, almost like jackfruit, but uh, the version of hot jackfruit. So there you have a quick look of some of the different and most exotic fruits around the world. Oh my god, yes. I just want to be on here online. Sick. <laughs> so stay, stay tuned, tuned next time. time only here in YN Squad. Bye! Bye. That was interesting and funny. And yes, although the world around is in a roller coaster of events, here's a daily dose of good to definitely brighten up your day. Now let's go to another part of the world to meet some of our YM squad doing something good. We received a video from our friends in Kiev, Ukraine, who are giving notes of encouragement to people on the streets. Let's watch this. Greetings from beautiful Ukraine. I'm Felicia and I'm Marina from, from YM, YM Squad in Kyiv, Ukraine. Ukraine. And today we are going to spread love by giving out words of encouragement in Ukraine language. Here are some words of positivity written in English and Ukrainian language. We are passing out to people to brighten up their day during these hard times.
can see, with just one simple act of kindness, many people are affected. A simple note or a kind hello can make a world of difference in this very chaotic and cold world. It is a very heartwarming gesture and makes the world a happier place. Love makes the world go round. These days, the last thing that people would want to do is to visit the doctor. Because I'm not sick, I feel fine. My body doesn't even hurt. Well, earlier we were talking about how to stay healthy even during this pandemic. Especially the new normal is wearing a mask, washing your hands, social distancing, and sanitizing your house, your belongings, and even yourself. But what are some of the ways that often we overlook, especially when we're young? Let's take a look. Mental health is keeping up your emotions and having a positive attitude and outlook on life, no matter what circumstances and environment you are in. Vital signs. Vital signs are necessary signals to maintain. Our resident physician told us physically you have to maintain a certain level by checking them from time to time, which are body temperature, heart rate or pulse respiratory rate, and blood pressure. To the naked eye, that would seem right to be physically healthy. But did you know there is more than meets the eye? For we are first a spiritual being. Before we are a physical and carnal being, we are first a spirit with a body. So with that in mind, we would like to include one more, which is your spiritual health, because mental and spiritual health are connected. Popular studies have shown that patients who have faith or belief in God are more likely to get better survive and live longer lives than those who don't believe in God. So what are the vital signs of your spiritual health? You can read that in Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. So what is the lesson that we learned today? Don't complain. Number two, don't be negative. Number three, don't say things are hard. Number four, don't worry. Number five, be thankful. Number six, be content. And number seven, be happy. Did you know that emotions like anxiety and worry often affect the health of our body, even our organs, and ultimately determines the fate and health of the whole body? Negative emotions create a chemical imbalance and resulting from the reaction of the organ and harmful effects can be felt throughout the body. A positive disposition leads to good physical, mental, and spiritual health. Mental health and spiritual health work hand in hand because the seat of the spirit is your mind. Remember, everything begins in the mind. So here are some tips to keep you spiritually and mentally healthy. Remain positive. Feed your mind with positive things. You are what you eat, so whether you feed your mind with good things like books, history, arts, etc. Listen and watch the right things. Listen to music that will bring comfort, healing, and salvation. Have faith and trust in God. How to have faith? Romans 10.17 says, Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Eat the right food, physically and spiritually. And no matter how busy you are, take time to pray. Don't pray just because you need something. Pray because you are thankful to Him for what He has done and what He has given to you. Prayer is how you communicate with God. Prayer can move the hands of God. It can make the most impossible situations possible. And miracles will take place in your life. Ask and you shall receive. Some people don't ask and that is why they don't receive and just wait for it in its perfect time and plan. Remember, all things work together for good to those who love Him and who are called according to His purpose. So learn more about spiritual health and healing by listening to the message of Pastor Apollo C. Kibaloy only here on SMNI. Wow, thanks bro for those useful tips. Hey YM Squad, did you know you have many lives? Mm -hmm. 
What do you mean? Of course, you have a physical life, a social life, an academic life, even a work life. But did you know you have a spiritual life? This one is the most critical of all. Yes, Vic, and regardless, we are responsible in maintaining the health of that quality of life. So, going back to our physical life, do you consider yourself physically healthy? You can say yes, I don't feel any pain in my body, but am I spiritually healthy? Some telltale signs are, if you are sad, then you are deprived of the spirit of happiness. If you are troubled, then you are deprived of peace. If you are full of hatred, you are deprived of love. If you are lonely, then you are deprived of joy. Happiness or joy, love, and peace are some of the fruits of the Spirit mentioned in Galatians 5, 22-23. When we have these fruits of the Spirit within us, it means that we are spiritually healthy. This is a sign that we need help. We need to remember to go back to God to lead us back to the right path. That is why many in the world today become so depressed they are not spiritually well. So that's why we need to keep ourselves in check to be always spiritually and physically fit. What an amazing and informative show today has been. I've learned so much. This has been Youth Matters, the newest and most interesting place on air for young people everywhere. We invite you again next time on our next episode of Youth Matters because young lives matter.